Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and cradled in my arms is the brand new synth from IK Multimedia, the Uno Synth Pro. Now, short story long, I pre-ordered this way back when they first announced it. Months went by and it took forever to ship, but it finally came and I can say I'm pretty excited. I don't know if you enjoyed the demo up front there, maybe you just skipped right over it, but so far from what I've heard, this synth sounds pretty legit, too legit to quit. I have the Novation Ultra Nova. That's the last synthesizer I bought, and I love that thing. I used it quite a bit live back when I was playing with a band. I've used it in church, and I thought, you know, I wanna kind of dive back into the synthesizer world, and what better way with a brand new synth, the Uno Synth Pro. So I'm making this video, number one, to just kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like and talk about my first impressions. Because if you're looking to buy this and you're looking to drop almost 650 US dollars on this, is it worth $650? I think the Novation Ultra Nova was about 600 when I bought that new a few years ago. I don't think they sell that anymore, but you can find it used. It's an excellent synthesizer. It has if I'm being honest, a lot more features than this. It has an audio interface built into it. It has the touch knobs at the top, some unique functionality that you don't find in other synthesizers out there. So I love that thing. I'm hanging on to that, but I thought, I wanna try out the new Uno Synth Pro, see what they've done for sound shaping capabilities and really dive into the core of building sounds, some of these synth sounds from Scratchamundo. So let's talk about first impressions. So first off, this is probably about as heavy as my grandmother, and I think it's the heaviest synth I've ever had my hands on at this size. So it's a 37 key, and it is a hefty synth. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm legit lifting weights as I'm kind of porting this around. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to throw this in a backpack and play in the park, it may not be the synth for you but they have another version. They have the desktop version, which is the same exact control panel, just no physical keys. It's a touch key thingy without any of the fun after touch, touch sensitivity stuff. You do get a pitch and mod slider on that one. So go check that out. It's less expensive. I think it's around 400. And then you get all of the same exact control of the sounds and all the same exact, everything's the same when it comes to the control panel and the sounds. It's just the physical aspects of it that are different. Maybe that's the one for you. If you're just looking to expand your sound library, it's got five pin MIDI DIN in and out. So you can plug this into a controller. So maybe the desktop version, a little more reasonable in the price point and you could plug it into a controller. Which brings me to my next observation is, 
If you look on the back, there's no sustain pedal or control pedal input at all. And maybe I haven't looked into other synths in this price range, but I know my Ultra Nova has a sustain pedal. And I don't know, I use a sustain pedal a lot to hold a sound, especially if I'm playing live. Let's say we're using this in church. I pull up a pad sound, I hit the one or two notes, it's a full pad sound, and I want it to ring out for a while. I hold the sustain pedal. I can play piano on my other keyboard, maybe the stage three. But in this case, I can't do that because this doesn't have a sustain pedal input. I may be able to do that though by plugging a controller into this and then a sustain pedal into the controller, but maybe I don't wanna carry, I don't know. That's just an observation. Maybe it won't be a big deal as I play this, but I go, my foot instinctively reaches for the sustain pedal. So I don't know, we'll see. In terms of the controls and the feel, the knobs, pitch and mod wheel, buttons all have a really nice quality rubbery feel to them. The buttons are a little slippery. They're not really tacky, but the knobs are tacky. And there's a little play in the rotary knob, a little play in the pitch and mod wheels, which brings me to my next point. I think I may have a defective model because I cannot get the pitch and mod wheel to work for any sound. I can't find a setting in the menu. And so I've submitted a ticket to IK Multimedia. We'll see what they come back with. But unfortunately, if it's defective, I may have to be returning this little guy for another one that the pitch and mod will work because that's a big part of synth sounds is being able to morph the sound parameters with the mod wheel and also get those screaming leads with the pitch. So I need those to work and currently they don't work. So if you have any ideas, throw them in the comments below. But I wanted to throw this out there. This first video is not an in-depth how to use the Uno Synth Pro. Those are to come. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the videos I'm coming out with because I'm gonna be exploring all of the sounds in here. It comes with a whole bunch of presets as well as ARP and sequencing functionality. We're gonna talk about how to edit and build sounds in this. So make sure you're subscribed. Uh, you don't wanna miss those because I'm really excited to see how this performs up against other synthesizers. In the comments below, if you play other synthesizers and you're either looking at getting the Uno Synth Pro or you have played or have the Uno Synth Pro, let me know how you think it compares to other synthesizers like this on the market today. Is it worth $650? That's the big question. I can't answer that yet because I need to dive into this more. Without the pitch and mod wheel working, to me it's not, but that's a defect. We'll get that fixed. Once that's fixed, does it have enough features or does it sound good enough to be worth $650? I think a big part of that question comes down to what are you gonna use it for? What do you need the sounds for? What is your style of music? If your style of music is acoustic folk, then this is probably not gonna be worth $650 to you. But if you're into electronic music, hip hop, anything like that. And I'm even looking forward to trying this in a worship setting by filter back on some of those sounds that have some real nice meat to them. And I like using that in even a church setting. You can find ways to mix this into your songs. I'll use this when I'm recording because there's a lot of possibilities here and I'm really excited to explore that more. One last thing before we go, the key bed feels amazing. So this is probably one of the better synth style key beds I've played and the weight of the synth, this is a beast. And I think that lends itself really nicely to helping the keys feel really good, that every, all the controls feel really good because this doesn't bounce around. It's got the little rubber feet on the bottom. Top is this really nice medley finish. This is glossy, that's gonna pick up fingerprints, but overall build quality is amazing. And like I said, the weight of this synth is really nice because it gives the keys a wicked solid feel and I love them. The aftertouch is great, it works really well. And I, however they've set the sensitivity on the aftertouch, it works really well, I like that. It kind of, I did some of the stuff that I'd normally do with a mod wheel with the aftertouch and it worked all right. I would like these to work. So I'm gonna keep digging for that. I will let you know what happens with these. Hopefully I can get them to work without having to return this and get a new one, but I may have to do that. So stay tuned. We're gonna dig into this more. Again, make sure you're subscribed. Like this video if you found it helpful. If you are excited for the Uno Synth Pro, let me know in the comments below. If you've got questions or anything where you want specific videos made for this synthesizer, let me know. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying synthesizer. I tried and synthesizer, I don't know, it's just, 
It's a foreign word, so I say synth instead. Okay, we're calling it. We're calling it here. 